All right, so now we're gonna be talking about how much money you should be putting inside your ATM, okay? And this is going to depend on a number of factors, okay? Um, how much foot traffic, how much people are in that area that might be using it, how frequently you want to be going back and refilling that ATM, and also how much cash in hand you have that you're able to put into those ATMs, okay? What I tell my guys and what I when they first start off is put between $1,000 to $2,000 in that ATM. It's a brand new location. We do not know if it's going to be very, very slow or very fast where you're going to be, they're going to be taking a lot of money out or maybe it's not going to be used that much, right? I say I always put $1,500 in an ATM where I first install it because I don't know how much um, money is going to be taken out, okay? Now, also, um, Frequently, how, how often do you wanna go back? Obviously, I don't wanna go back there every other day to refill an ATM, okay? Because that's gonna take a lot of time out of, my, out of my day just to go and refill it. So that's why I say about $1,500 is normally. Now, it's not, I'm not, that's not a hard line saying you have to put $1,500, you have to put $2,000. You can put as little as $200, $100 in your ATM, okay? But of course, keep in mind that money, once it's out, somebody takes and withdraws that money, it's gonna take about one to two business days, business days to hit your bank account where you can go and re uh, take withdraw it and refill it again. Okay, so kind of keep that in mind. If you only have a hundred, five hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, okay, keep that in mind to see how often you have to uh, refill it and then also how when it's available in your bank. Okay, those are also a number of factors. Now, um, as far as fr uh, frequency, okay. If you don't, if you have a lot of time and it's right next door to you and you don't mind going and refilling it up, that's perfectly okay, right? For me personally, I don't wanna be going there every other day. Um, I go once every two weeks, right? Depending on the track, on the location. Sometimes if it's a heavy traffic, like one of my locations, I have to go every week. Other times, maybe my, maybe a whole month, okay? It just all depends on how you feel. But generally, you wanna put between 1,000 to 2,000 in there. now. Once you have that ATM established and you know how it's doing, the traffic, how much transactions you get a month, that's where you could actually start playing with it. Maybe it does take, maybe there is a lot of transactions in that ATM. You want to put a little bit more money in there, right? Three, four thousand dollars in there. Um, so you don't have to continue to keep going back. Maybe it doesn't do so well and you want to drop it down to $500, $1,000, right? It's totally up to you. There's no rule saying you have to put this much in there. Now, inside the cassette the cassette is going to be the box that holds all the cash inside the atm a cassette generally holds about ten thousand notes now notes is a uh, a bill a, a twenty dollar bill a five dollar bill whatever the case is it is able to hold ten thousand bills inside this one cassette that you install inside your atm okay so whether those bills are $10 bills, $20 bills, $50 bills, whatever the case is, it's able to hold up to 10,000 bills in there. So you get to play as far as how much you wanna put in there, how much you don't, whatever the case is kind of thing. So once again, this is also use your best judgment to see how much you want you want to put in there, how frequent you wanna go, how much traffic's in that area kind of thing, right? But generally to start off, I tell my guys to put between 1,000 to 2,000 in there, right? Minimum of 1,000 because we don't know how often it's gonna be used.